סוכות, סוכות זמן שמחתנו. The season of our rejoicing is one of the three pilgrimage festivals we are grateful to observe. All three festivals are connected with the agricultural seasons of the year. As it is mentioned in the Torah, three times a year shall all thy male appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose, in the Feast of Matzot, Passover, in the Feast of Shavuot, Pentecost, and in the Feast of Sukkot, Booth. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty. The three mitzvot, the three commandments, we are instructed to observe on Sukkot are unique as they require wholeness and entirety. The first mitzvah which gave the festival its name is to sit in the Sukkah booth for seven days. It is the only commandment in the Jewish law that we fulfill with our entire body as we walk into the booth eating, sleeping, and dwelling in it for seven days. I am now inside a sukkah, the special hut built for the festival. There are two reasons for this commandment. The first is to remind us of the booth that the Israelites used while wandering in the desert from Egypt, from Egypt to the Promised Land for 40 years. It is also in memory of the pillar of cloud which protected them during their journey. The second reason is that Sukkot always occurs during early autumn season. Hence, it is the festival of the harvest. While we proudly collect the agricultural produce and gather the fruits of our hard labor, we are reminded that all is granted by God we must leave our permanent, solid, beautiful homes and move for a week into temporary, shaky huts and trust God Almighty to shelter and sustain us. The Sukkah is a fragile hut with three or four sides. This one has three and a half sides, whose roof is made out of natural thatch or branches which provides some shade and protection from the sun, but also the stars can be seen at night. The second mitzvah is fulfilled mainly during the special festival's liturgical services. We are commanded to hold together, bless and shake four special species of plants, arba minim, consisting of one palm branch, three myrtle branches, and two willow branches, together with a citron fruit, a trog. They represent a different human character, and the law is to bless and pray as we hold them together. It is a symbol of unity of people, regardless of their differences. Holding the bundle of the four species, the congregation marches around the synagogue's Torah scrolls while praying a unique service, asking for Hosanna, God, please save us. Hosanna, Hosanna. The third mitzvah, which requires our entire mind and soul, is simply to rejoice and be happy. This unusual commandment appears particularly in connection with uh, the Feast of the Harvest. As it says, after the ingathering from your threshing floor and your winepress, you shall hold the Feast of Booth for seven days. You shall rejoice in your festival and you shall have nothing but joy. The festival of Sukkot is known for the tradition of welcoming many guests. It is customary to invite many visitors to join us in our temporary homes into the Sukkah. Ushpizin, guests in Aramaic, is a symbolic ceremony in which we also invite our matriarchs and patriarchs, our ancestors, to join us 
during our meals in the sukkah. The festival is also known as the festival of all nations, as the prophet Zachariah tells us, and it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations that came against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. As we pray at the festival's evening services, I wish us all, O God, guard our coming and our going. Grant us life and peace, now and always. Spread over us, Sukkah, the shelter of your peace. Praised are you, Lord, who spreads Sukkah, the shelter of peace, over us. Amen. Amen.